mid-morning stretch and by mid-morning, I guess it's technically been morning for me since I've been up for a couple hours now, even though it's 7.30 in the morning. But who cares? <clears throat> nope. Hopefully I didn't come through in the mic, whatever. Monday, your weekend happened. Mine did as well. We're doing an easy, well, what I hope is easy, uh, Monday episode of something called The Famous World, which seems to be more locations, more famous locations, including photospheres, it said. Um, I'm seeing how badly I can do with this. I'm probably going to do very bad because I have no idea what the fuck this is. This is just a bunch of crosses next to a cross. Like, I almost thought this could have been that <clears throat> giant Jesus statue in Poland, but I'm not seeing it. I mean, this is Europe. And that's an osprey nest with a... Well, that's not an osprey, just some other bird in it. Can I go here? No, I cannot. But what the fuck is this place? Let me hit home and see if there's, like, an entrance gate back this way. Because there's definitely a lot of people coming to this thing. It's just... I don't know, and I'd like to get over to this parking lot, but it seems I can't. Let me know what this is. I don't think I've seen or heard of this, whatever this is. And if you do, well, you're smart. I'm not. Congratulations. We have... Automeskai? I... Russian. But... Not completely. Krizik? Krizik? I still no idea. Angeli Svetain? And I am baffled. Was this just like a cross type? Tourist attraction? I don't know what the fuck this is. I'm 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 being honest with <laughs> I don't think I've heard of whatever this is. John Skis. I mean, is this like here? One of these? See a Louis I I mm. Joni Joni skis Joni skis huh I don't know this one's uh oh wait okay here we go John skis is okay we're right in here somewhere is there like an attraction I've I've never heard of this thing and this must be it just because it's a a thing. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Um, anyway, let's go through the basics of what I do, even this being the basic of it. Thank you all for the watches, the comments, the suggestions. Again, any other map ideas, I'll totally do them. Or anything else in general, I'll do my best to explain them. What is this? Emails. I'm such an important person. I don't need parental controls. Um, what's new with me here? Uh, I went back to hiking for the first time in like a month. It did nice little place just in the town I'm I moved to. It's got a nice little view. Did it real quick. Um, really looking forward to actually getting back to doing that. I really like that, as I mentioned before, that I'm just totally done it enough times that I like hiking and I want to keep doing it. So. What is this? Christ King? I'm assuming that the, that's what this stuff is. Interesting. Somehow got to that. We're at the Rock of Gibraltar. I'm calling it now. These are some interesting locales. I mean, I've only done two of these, so I don't know how honest and legitimate that can be of a statement. I want some puka pies, though. Those sound tasty. What does this say? Can't make it out. 
Well, there's at least English here. And a very fancy looking brick wall here. Is this Gibraltar? Like I was saying that joking, but maybe this that's what this is. Let's uh now it's the problem actually, if it is that, what side will be on here? Actually, no, Gibraltar's. When French troops came, well, I know that French meddled around here, if this is actually, again, Gibraltar. I'm just going to put us here to um, actually, like, oh. Could it be? I mean, there's no reason why it would be over there. It's got to be like, I mean, even Gibraltar is not like the farthest south point here, but we're going to click right there and see if I'm correct. Can I go down to the beach? I cannot. Uh, hiking, though, yep. We, we get it. I like hiking. Okay. Um,. Yeah, <laughs> uh, just the hobby, not the hobby, the habit of, uh, or the, the, the job, man, my brain, again. Catalan Bay, is this Catalan Bay? Now I am not thinking Catalina, isn't that, like, over here? I don't know. I now am concerned that I am wrong, and I'm very wrong. But the the task of filling up the apartment is slowly happening. Got myself a fancy couch, and I'm one of those people who just I kind of would just like to have a nice living room. But as far as like pre planning planning that goes into it, I'm terrible at it. Like people ask me, "Oh, you got you getting some stuff for your uh, apartment?" Yeah, what do you what do you think you're going to be getting? Uh, probably going to be getting a couch next. Oh, do you know what kind? No. Do you know what color you'd like? No. Um, sofa, do you want a love seat? What, what do you want? GL. So I'm thinking this is Gibraltar then. Unless there's another G country I'm thinking of, and I'm not. Um, and it's just like, well, I, when I get to the store, I'll know what I like. And then that just... And cause all sorts of problems. Like, I'll look on Amazon to kind of get ideas for things, but even then, it's just like, I don't know if I like this. I could, you gotta sit on it and like find out, oh, this is too comfy. This is too stiff. Heh. <laughs> uh, the one I saw yesterday that was like in a discontinued section of the store, it really just looked like the couch was deflating and melting. And when you sat into it, you were like maybe four inches off the ground, but Somehow you sunk into the cushion 10 inches. It was some weird magic that was happening. It was incredibly comfy, but it was very unruly, and you would have needed assistance. Like, you would have had to, like, put a uh, rope tied to the ceiling to, like, lift you up to actually be able to get out. Please use movement pathway, huh? Okay, uh, I don't know what this is. The monument remains for visitors for sunrise to 8 p.m. Photography climbing. This doesn't say where. Hmm. But I ended up getting a nice one that was on sale. And then I got some nightstand that I don't know why it was a factory reject or, or, or uh, like it was in a section with like damaged and lower models and some other stuff. And this didn't have like. All of them have like little labels on them saying like, hey, this is a uh, floor model. This one's damaged. This one just said, oh, I guess I'm not going any farther here. What is this place? Way to Nav Navagraha. I'm thinking that this is India. If not India, Sri Lanka. The problem is... It could be Bangladesh. I don't know. This is the one I'm going to get the most bad score on. Because this even could be like 
Indochina, like maybe farther over here, but I don't know. We'll see how, maybe, maybe walking around here, it'll open us like, hmm. I mean, is this Buddhist? Like, I don't know, like, the religious iconography of most Eastern Asian, Central, Southern, Eastern Asian, you know, everywhere except Northern Asian. Um religious whatever even though i took like a class and i don't remember any of it but you know i'm seeing people in saris thinking those are saris and that this is probably india the problem is i don't know where you got bare feet it's pretty uh brave you i want to go this way thank you Like, this is definitely cool looking. I can't imagine how much of a pain in the ass it was to make this. Oh, it's on wheels. I wonder if it moves. Probably not. <clears throat> but I've seen, like, videos on other, uh, like, this area, Thailand. Maybe not so much India. I'm just going to click a city because I have no, no, no idea. I think I got the country right, but I don't know. Uh, that men in some of these, like, temples and whatnot, you're allowed to go, but you have to wear pants and dress, like, not t-shirts and jeans, but you gotta wear, or t-shirts and shorts, you gotta wear, like, shoes and pants, and this type of weather is just very prohibitive. I would never wear pants in this weather because it would just be Chihavi Temple. I, yeah, I got, I got Chin, maybe it's here just because that's a, they both start with the same three letters. I mean, I, Kolkata, like I haven't seen anything to let me know where it is that I remember at least. This is definitely cool looking. Like whenever this was made, all right, this has to be on this chunk of the, the rock, like, do they jot stuff down somewhere? Did somebody start carving out of a rock and be like, no, we repeated that pattern, pattern like eight blocks ago. Like, how many of these things are actually, like, unique? Is there any of them that are actually uh, repeated? Is it intended? Like, well, the planning that goes into it seems crazy. Oh, we were... How did I not know we were in Kunark? Silly me. You know, I think everywhere except, well, of the three we've done, not looking at this one, I've only known one. This one, looking here, I don't know. We're in some sort of square at the Grand Hotel of Oprah. She's a British woman. She can do this stuff. Well, Toulouse, huh? All right. Let's go to Toulouse. I don't know what's in Toulouse. Is there like some special thing in the square here? I'm just looking for a large rectangle that could be the center of town, but not really seeing it. I'm just clicking right in the middle. Oh, the opera. I should look for that. I do... Oh, wait, let's see. Yeah, we got French. What are the other flags here? EU, France, and maybe that's the Toulousean flag. Toulousean sounds like one of those fake alien names you would hear on podcasts. Or and it's like, oh, I got kidnapped by the Toulousean of Enron 8. And every time they name planets, it's always weird, dumb word that probably has a Z in it. And a number. Like, we couldn't come up with any other words enough that we're going to put numbers after it. I seems silly to me. I never really got that with science fiction, but what do I know? Other than this is the Grand Hotel of the Opera. Where is that? Not seeing it. I guess, is this where Jean d'Arc was from? Or like, not so much from, but like the area, because I thought it was a small town, unless Toulouse at the time was. I don't think it was. 
I remember listening to a thing on her a couple of years ago, maybe like last year. It was a podcast, History on Fire. He did a pretty long uh, series on her. Pretty good. Um, I know I mentioned it before, but if you're looking for any sort of is- interesting history podcast, because uh, um, Dan Carlin's a little behind on his six-month window as far as doing hardcore histories. Uh, this guy, the I can't remember his name now, did one on her... He's got a bit of a heavy, uh, read thick um, Italian accent, but you listen to it like enough, eventually you'll just understand what he's saying. If you're not, when you start out, but definitely knows his stuff. He's pretty interesting to listen to. I mean, I've never done any actual like um, fact checking of anything he's done because Jesus Christ, I'm got don't have that much time to do that stuff and even then it's not like a hobby I want to do not seeing any hotel signs for this anywhere here am I even like in the right part I don't know not seeing it just clicking in the center makes me feel like I'm gonna at least be close I'm just gonna go ahead and make my guess I wasn't too far off oh the palace of capital that would make sense that it would be there but mm, yeah I could have seen it from there I just was not looking for it final round we're in Berlin at the I wonder what what's going is this like a race F1 hmm maybe Berliner Morgan Post. The Berlin Morning Paper. I actually started lis- uh, listening, watching a few things on um, God, uh, Netflix. And I did lot, uh, watch a lot of No Reservations a long time ago, and then I just kind of stopped, along with stopped watching most things. And I started just randomly picking up uh, whatever his last show was god i can't even remember that was no no destination parts unknown i fucking i i don't know is this even where i'm supposed to be or we like where is like actual super there's brandenburg gate but i'm not seeing brandenburg gate anywhere here but i started watching it and got Maybe a season through. It was like season seven. It's like whatever they put me on. And one of the episodes was like uh, Buenos Aires. And I think this one was filmed in like 2016. And one of the interesting things about Argentina, uh, or at least Buenos Aires, I don't remember exactly, is everyone goes to a shrink. Like it's it's just like a normal everyday thing. It's totally normal. And they had him as just like a goof, a gag, or whatever you want to call it, to go to one. And then you just sit there and he's just talking to a shrink saying all this stuff, how he's like fighting depression and the job he, he thinks what he does, is it's empty and hollow, you know, and you're just like, Ugh. I mean, I don't know how much of that was actually unknown at the time. I think he openly talked about it and then I just caught him one of these times. And then, I guess, what was it? I forget how many years ago. I guess Robin Williams died either today or yesterday. I don't know what that has to do with anything other than it's just Charlotte Strauss. Charlotte and Strauss. Hmm. Don't know. Oh, N-E-R-D. Yeah, don't call them. Oh, MySpace secret shows. Jesus Christ. This is an old one. I went and saw a MySpace secret show. Um, long time ago. Are we near Checkpoint Charlie? Is that what that little Jeep is? 
Maybe I'll just like. Um, put us around here. Like, I, eh, I don't know. Yeah, they had one in up in my neck of the woods for comedians. And at the time, Christ, this might have been 20, uh, 2006, 2007. Somewhere around there, was a free show for, at the time, a kind of unknown comic. Uh, Louis C.K. actually came to... Is, is that a duck on a chair? How do you even say that in German? Quackenchair? Quackenschiss? Nice little outfit. Wearing an apron. Oh, I wasn't too far off. Near the Deutscher Dom. The Dutch Dome. <laughs> the Dutcher Dome. Or the Germ... Germer Dome. Cool. Well, I had a feeling that wasn't going to be too difficult as far as the points went. I got kind of lucky with this one. I'll come right out and say it. This one, not so much. Yeah, this one, no idea. Anyway, thanks all for watching. That's your Monday episode. Again, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, or map suggestions, game suggestions, anything you'd like me to check out, Put them in the comments below. I will get back to them as soon as possible. Weekend's over. Monday starts. Gotta go back to do some work. We're all doing it. You're doing it. We'll check back in on Wednesday, see how we're all doing. Until then, goodbye.